Yeah, success doesn't happen by, by default. Success doesn't happen by accident. Anything you want to accomplish, it has to be planned out. And it's, it has to be deliberate and intentional. Okay? What does the word intentional mean? Done on purpose. Deliberate. Right? What's deliberate? Done consciously and intentionally. Engage in a long conflict consideration. Right? So done consciously. So deliberate is your what? You're putting a lot of conscious effort. Conscious effort into getting something done. Right or wrong? So if you want to be successful, it has to be intentional and it has to be deliberate. So you have to have a conscious effort towards your success and you have to have what? A purpose behind it. It has to be on purpose. It's not by accident. A lot of you guys want to create success. It sounds nice to have an extra couple of dollars in your bank account, to feel successful, to be good, to be a great athlete. It all sounds amazing. But success is a planned event. I learned this from a guy named Larry Winters, maybe like 13, 14 years ago. Okay? He says success is a planned event. And there's two things that stop you. Well, how do you become successful? Like, what do you need to do to become successful? Well, there's only two things. Actually, three things. Right? Outside of being intentional and deliberate, you have to create what? Consistent and persistent. And you have to put effort. Right or wrong? So you have to be consistent day in, day out, week in and week out, month in and month out. If it's not consistent, forget about being successful. It's not going to happen. You cannot go out there one week and crush it, and then the second week you fucking slack off. And then the third week you crush it, and then the fourth week you slack off. And then you slack off for two more weeks, and it doesn't happen. It has to be consistent. Oh, Michael, I got sick. Doesn't fucking matter. You're not consistent. Michael, I didn't feel good. You're not consistent. Success doesn't give a fuck about, did you say anywhere around here that it says anything about emotions? Success doesn't care about feelings. If you want to create success, and by the way, what is the word success? A lot of people have this confused. What does the word success mean to you? It means completely different for everyone in this room. Some of you guys think that having $10,000 a month is considered successful. Some of you guys, if you're making 10 grand a month, you're fucking having a heart attack. That's okay. Some of you guys think that 100 grand a month is fucking successful. Right? For me, that's a fucking, that's, that's scary to me. That, to me. Because when I started making 10K, 20, I started growing. To me, 100 grand a month was like, Ugh. If I make less than 100 grand, to me, I'm fucking petrified. I'm, in, I'm scared. And it's not because I'm so much better than someone. No, it's because I've, 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 I've accomplished the goals that I want to accomplish. And to me, I'm thinking of bigger numbers. Success is different to everyone. So what is success to you? And it may not even be about money. Maybe success to you by being happy. Some of you guys are measuring your success by being how happy you are. Some of you guys are miserable fucking, you're miserable as shit. You're not happy with anything in your life. Anybody went to the hospital recently? Like not, by, not because of you, but just by walking into the hospital, just seeing how people live there? Like, you know, ICU, whatever. It's fucking, it's not a happy place. Outside of the places where they give birth, and even there it's not fucking happy because the women are screaming and yelling, all it's, right? Hospitals are not that happy. Right? For the most part. But some of you guys are trying to measure your success by how happy you are, which is fine. Some of you guys are measuring your success by how healthy you are. Some of you guys are fucking dying. Yeah. You think I'm kidding? You look good on the outside. You do blood work, you're fucking de decaying. Why is that? Because you got to take care of your fucking vessel. So success is not just about making money. Success can be whatever it is for you. Whatever it is you want to create. If you want to be happy, you have to what? Be intentional. There has to be a purpose behind it. You have to be extremely deliberate, consciously. Right or wrong? Being happy is not about something happening in your life and you become happy. No, being happy is being deliberate and intentional. How do you create happiness? By being deliberate and intentional about being happy. Oh, Michael, it's not that easy. Yes, it is. I want you to think about happy moments in your life. You'll be happy. Anybody had anyone pass away in their life? Family member? Friends? Okay. Was that a happy moment? No. Right? So the second you start thinking about that, you start feeling sad, gloomy, little, little, ugh. right? I remember when I lost two of my grandparents in the same week. Monday, I lost one grandfather. Wednesday, I lost a second grandfather. It was in the same fucking week. You think I was a happy week? No. no, it wasn't happy. But guess what? That week, was I consistent? Absolutely. I was still consistent. 
I'll still do what I need to do. Right? So success requires, it's a requirement to be intentional, to be on purpose, to be deliberate, to have a conscious what? Effort. And it requires you to be consistent. Consistent in what? Everything. Consistent in everything you need to do to get that success. Whatever that is. If you want to bake a cake, you got to be consistent. You're going to be a fucking top chef. You can't bake a cake one week and then skip next week and all of a sudden you want to be fucking on TV baking cakes. It's not going to happen. You want to be a great singer? Guess what? You need to consistently do what? Sing. In the bathroom while you're taking a shit. It doesn't fucking matter. If you want to be professional anything, you got to fucking be consistent. So some of you guys think that, oh, during work, you guys have this mindset that has been, that's been fucking brainwashing you, for you since you were a kid that going to work is about what? How many guys, how many, of, how many of you guys honestly have been brainwashed to think in hours of when it comes to work? Be honest. How many hours did you work this week? People ask you all the time, right? How much did you get per a hour? People ask. Okay, you got to get the fuck out of that mindset if you want to create success. Success is not look at hours. It looks at consistency. I'd rather you put 10 hours into something and be 100% consistent and all in in those 10 hours then you put 40 one week, 60 the next week, 12 the next week, 20 the week after. Why is that? Because I'm betting on a consistent guy. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to create success by doing something for 10 hours a week. Because the guy that puts in 40 hours a week consistently is going to beat the guy that's doing 10 hours a week consistently. And the guy, like myself, who was putting 100 hours a week consistently, beat everyone that was putting 50, 60 hours a week. That's why I created success, if you want to call it that way, really fucking relatively quickly. Right? It was really quick for me. The reason why I was quick is I put fucking 100 hours a week. Consistently, week in, week out. I do not remember from the age of 19 to the age of 28 years old, or 27 I would say, where I put less than 80 hours a week into my businesses, into my craft, into my salesmanship. I don't remember that. I was always, always, always 80 plus hours a week. Always. Though I didn't count those hours, it just happened. Does that make sense? So don't you think that guys that were putting in 30, 40 hours, I was going to crush them eventually through the compound effect of getting better and better and better? Do you think I was smart? Do you think I'm the smartest guy in the room? No. I'm not the smartest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the sharpest guy. But I'm the most consistent motherfucker. So I'll give you guys another example. My social media content, right? I've been posting content for years, but not consistently. Consistently, once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, yes. But for the past two years, a year and a half, I have been consistently posting on every single fucking platform, the five major platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and LinkedIn, at least, minimum, two posts a day. Minimum. Consistently. I haven't missed the fucking week. I haven't missed the fucking day. I've been posting on my stories every single day. As a matter of fact, I just... I just Last couple of days, I kind of skipped 24 hours. I wanted to change the algorithm a little bit because I was getting shadow banned. I knew that for a fact. Stopped posting for like a day. All of a sudden, I'm back. Fucking my, follow- my, my, my views went up. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Because the algorithm was fucking me up. But I'm consistent as shit. Why is that? Because I understand that in order to be successful, success is a planned event. It's not a, it's not, it doesn't float around in the fucking air and says, you know what? Frozo looks sharp today. I'm going to attack him. It doesn't happen. Success isn't floating around in the fucking air and say, you know, I'm going to get this fucking couple. I'm going to get this fucking guy. Success is a planned event. And you have to be consistent with what, what, what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Next, you have to have what? Persistency. Well, what does that mean, Michael? Persistency. Some of you guys I do not understand the word persistent. You have one little setback and fuck, you quit. You have one little hurdle, oh, it's not for me. You're talking to a girl, you're talking to a guy, they give you one fucking red flag. Oh, I'm out. Oh, 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 oh. Instead of understanding that you got to be persistent in whatever it is that you want. Nothing happens by accident. We, we all understand that. We all hear that. But you have to be persistent in what you want. Somebody says no to you. What does that mean to you? Maybe next opportunity, but it could be. A no to me is a yes later on. There's always a Yes. I'll give you guys an example. 2001, did everyone have a cell phone? No. As a matter of fact, 2001, if you had, if you had a cell phone, you were popping. Okay? Some people had it. Some people did it. Some people said, oh, I'm never getting a cell phone. Who needs that shit? I want to carry that shit in my pocket. Oh, it gives you a Who nowadays does not have a fucking cell phone? 
Poor motherfuckers got cell phones. Think about that. Everyone has a cell phone now. Why is that? Because it, a no does not mean a no forever. It's a no today. It could be a yes later on. Does that make sense? There's always a yes. It just, not made, it just, it just may not be today. This doesn't mean you go fucking talk to someone, they say no to you, fucking chase them to fucking, you know, stalk them to death. I'm not saying that. Some of you guys will fucking take that to another level. Girl says no, like, <laughs> Michael said it's a yes one day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to DM her a hundred times. No. For that, for that situation, next opportunity. <laughs> right? But it could be yes. could be yes. Look at Grant Cardone, right? He chased his wife for 13 months straight. One, one phone call a month. She didn't answer. On the 13th month, she picked up the fucking phone because he said something about shooting guns. I rented out a range for you so we can go out shooting guns. She loved guns. Guess what? She picked up the fucking phone and called him back. Sometimes you got to try a different angle. Right? Maybe the angle you're trying is not the right angle. You got to be persistent. You cannot stop. And I was talking to someone. I don't know who I was talking to. I don't remember. I think it was yesterday or I don't remember when it was. And someone said something about me. I, I don't remember. He's like, I really, he's like, I, I really like something about you. I don't know. I said, what is it that, what is it you see from the outside in? Like, I, I know myself. I know I'm good. I know I'm fucking amazing. Awesome. I don't need to hear that. But what is it that you see that you really, really respect and admire and wish you had one of those qualities? He said, you never fucking stop. I just don't stop. Persistency. Through all the no's, through all the bullshit, through all the struggles, guess what? Do I stop? No. I don't stop. If you look at our business for the past eight years, we've sold everything under the fucking sun. Do we stop? I don't fucking stop. Oh, shit. Doesn't work. Next. Persistency. I want the goal. I want the target. It's a planned event. Success is a planned event. You have to plan it. You have to be intentional about your success. You have to be deliberate about your success. You got to be consistent with your activity. You have to be persistent and keep pushing forward. You know that Navy SEALs, you know what they look for? The, the, major, the, the, no, the main quality they look for when it comes to military, special forces people, they don't look for talent. They don't care about your talent. What do they care about? Mindset. They care about your mindset, but what do they really care about? They literally, in the Navy SEAL program, they literally fucking sit there drinking hot chocolate while you're freezing your ass off, telling you, quit! They're, li they're literally telling you to quit. They're like, can you please quit? Please ring that fucking bell. Please quit. Please. Imagine I did every day. Imagine Eric came every, day, every single day and said, you know what, Haley? Quit, motherfucker. Quit. You suck. You ain't going to do this shit. Quit. Quit. Imagine we did that to you. How would you feel? Maybe. Some of you guys will be like, you know what, fuck you. Yeah, I'm going to quit. Some of you guys may say that. But some of you may say, you know what, fuck that. I'm not quitting. I'm not fucking stopping. Why the fuck would I stop? Success is a planned event. There's only two things. There's only two things that stop you from creating success, which we'll get to in a second. Two things. Right? But you have to be consistent and persistent with what? Effort, with yourself. If you cannot get yourself, if you cannot motivate and drive yourself to do things that you do not want to do, why the fuck do you deserve respect? Why do you deserve success? You tell me. I hate the word deserve. Like, you don't deserve nothing, okay? Nowadays, everyone fucking thinks they deserve everything. You get into a fucking car accident, you deserve a fucking title. You're injured, you deserve money now. Why do you deserve money? You're a fucking moron. You got into an accident. Why the fuck is that? Why, why, why should you be suing the insurance company to get money? Why do you deserve that? Why? Tell me why. What's up with this fucking mentality of someone fucking, someone does something to you, you deserve something now. Why do you deserve that? You earned that shit. You don't deserve it. Nobody, nobody owes you shit. Do you guys understand that? Like, no, do you guys realize that nobody owes you anything? The government doesn't owe you shit? Do you guys think I wake up every morning and think, you know what? Social Security will take care of me and my family. Do you think I ever think about that? Do you think I ever thought of anyone else other than myself to take care of me? Do you think my mom, do you think I deserve to have my mom take care of me? Sorry, guys. Nobody owes you shit. Nobody owes you nothing. You got to go out there and fucking take it if you want it. You got to go earn it. This ain't fucking communism, right? <coughs> this ain't fucking Fidel Castro shit. This ain't fucking Haiti this, fucking, this, is, this is a place where you fucking got to earn it. And if you don't want to earn it, that's okay. People get mad that rich keep getting richer. The rich keep getting richer because they fucking go earn it. I don't hate on that. That's awesome. You went out there, you created a product, created a service, you made fucking a lot of money. Great. You fucking earned that shit. 
There's no shortcut to success, guys. The short, this is the shortcut. This is the shortcut. You want the shortcut? This is the shortcut. But everyone wants to fucking find a microwave, microwave way to fucking create success. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with someone that can actually be impacted by this video. I appreciate you guys, and once again, thank you for showing the support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.